In Autolic True Studio, it is possible to redirect printf debugging messages to the SWV console view using the ITM stimulus ports of the serial wire viewer. This is often referred to as software tracing. This will work on almost all Cortex M3, M4 devices in combinations with this SWD capable debug probe, such as the ST-Link version 2 or the Sager J-Link. The user must first enable serial wire viewer tracing in the debug configuration. Instrument your application with some printf calls. Generate the system calls stub file called syscalls.c. In syscalls you will find the write function, which is used by printf to print characters. We will instrument the write function to put each character on the ITM port 0 using the ITM sendshar function. The device peripheral access layer header file must be included in order to use the ITM sendshar function. In this case, stm32f4xx.h. Rebuild the project and launch a debug session. Open the serial wire viewer settings dialog box. Enable ITM port 0 so that printf messages are allowed to pass on this channel. Optionally, enable timestamps if graphical representation in the corresponding timeline is needed. Disable all trace events which are currently not needed to prevent risk of overflow, then click OK. Click the red record button in order to start recording trace data into PC buffer. Now resume the execution of the application and printf debug messages will be printed on the serial wire viewer console. There are 32 available ITM stimulus ports, which makes it possible to direct different types of information to different ports with simple C macros.